What's up YouTube? I am back after a very long time with the black outer box defender for the 4.7 inch iPhone 6. These things are sold out like crazy at my Best Buy and this is the only color I can get. And there was only like three of these in the whole store. In fact, all the shelves were wiped out. But with the whole bin gate thing going on, this is your absolute best protection. Um, I'll show you here at the end how good these things really are. Um, you can see this comes with a belt clip. Just pop that open. Uh, this one actually retails for, I believe it was $39.99 at Best Buy. So you got your belt clip here. I don't ever use these, but this is the only one they had. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. I'm going to wipe my case, uh, or I mean my phone screen off really, really well before I put the case on because you don't want any fingerprints or oils or anything underneath that screen protector since it's built in. It does come off and you can rewipe it off, but it's a pain. We'll start with removing these little seals down here at the bottom, and we'll use that to slowly start prying the thing off. This is rubber, you can stretch it, but you don't want to pull too hard, so just gently ease this off all the way around here. Just peel that back. And here on the side where your belt clip, the holster, catches if you can just kind of pop that up it kind of catches it right there and you can see lift it off you know make sure not to touch the screen right now get any fingerprints on the underside there or you get your phone line your phone in there I try to kind of put the camera and those ends in first and snap that in place and just lay this over the top and it'll start to kind of click. I don't think you can hear it over me talking, but it will click as you snap it in and just keep going around the edges until you feel it's secure and looks good. Make sure there's no gaps or anything. And then you will take the silicone part again, the rubber part, and just work that all the way around, just kind of pulling and stretching it around the edges of your case. Make sure that all feels real good. It should feel smooth and get all your seals back in there. And that should be good to go. And it comes off just in the exact opposite way. You just start with the seals and peel back like you did when you originally took the thing apart before you had your phone in there. Um, this thing looks good. There's no bubbles. Um, it's actually not as thick as some of the old ones were. It's still a thick case, but um, down here at the bottom you can see it is have it does have openings it is open so water and stuff can get in but it does have a little opening for your mic and speakers I don't like that it of all things I do have to open every time I want to charge but again this isn't the model I wanted it's the model that they had in stock and this is open up here as well at the top for you to be able to hear anytime you want to do your ringer you gotta flip that side up there your volume buttons are covered and again here on this side is just a clip depending on which way you have your phone on the back these are open so you can wipe down your uh, the surface of your lens there your Apple logo is visible in this model some of the other ones are covered uh, it just says OtterBox on the back here all in all it looks pretty good for an OtterBox um, this isn't the color I wanted but I'm going to show you here if I pull and tug and twist and do everything I can to try to bend it. I'm being careful because I don't want to push on my screen. But if I push from every direction, this thing's not budging. If you got this thing in your pocket, I still wouldn't want to try to sit on the screen because you could bust it. But it is not going to be bending in your pocket. You're not going to have to worry about that at all. This thing is still flat. My phone's not curved or bent or broken. or And I'm using force. It's hard to tell because I'm having a hard time reaching around my tripod to do so. But this thing, all in all, the screen is very sensitive. I have zero issues with it um, not responding. Fingerprint scanner is covered, and it works just fine. All in all, I really am happy with this thing. Other than the color, but it's the only one they have in stock. So that's what I'm stuck with. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.